Welcome back Ariel fam to this 15 minutes back conditioning routine, including some of my favorite exercises that help me to get my aerial strength. For those of you who are still working towards your first push-up, this is going to help you. And if you can already do some push-up, you're just going to get better and stronger. All you need for this 15 minutes is just a towel. Of course, it helps if you have a block, otherwise you can also use this one. But I will put this on the side later. And then get started with laying my full body on the ground for the first exercise. I'm also going to put my forehead on the ground so that I can release tension on my neck. And then lift my arms up and reach all the way out so that they touch each other on the back. And then again, reach all the way up to come back. That's one. And we're gonna repeat back and forth five times slowly. Don't forget to breathe. Two more. And then hands down. Now that I'm going to bring my hands next to my chest, I'm gonna lift my chest up, also the elbows up like this, and then reach the arms forward and back. Ooh, I feel that my shoulder blades are coming together. And then now we're gonna repeat also five times. Three, keep the chest up. And last one. And slowly bring everything down again. We're gonna come to our all four for a cat cow, which you might have done in yoga. But this time we're going to focus on bringing our shoulder blades apart when you arch and then bringing them together when you drop the chest. Really try to feel and exaggerate the movement. Again, five times, so now four. Now I'm going to flip myself. For the next one, I'm gonna lay my back all the way down. Bring my arms out and then go to 90 degrees like this. If you already feel a lot of tension on your chest, maybe this is already quite a workout. Just keeping your whole spine on the ground and keeping your arms, elbows 90 degree. But if you can, also try to straighten the arms while keeping the elbow on the ground. And bringing it back to 90 degrees. 
Let's try a few more. I'm feeling a lot of tension on my left. So I'm gonna try to balance what is happening also on the right side. Just really try to feel how you're moving. Let's do two more. Oh. And last one. Now release some tension. And then we're gonna start round two with this exercise. Bringing the palms up, trying to reach for the ceiling, but still keep the whole spine on the ground. And then I'm gonna lift my shoulders off the mat and bring them down. Just like shrug them away from the mat and bring them down. Repeat a few more times. One more. Okay. Then now we're going to come up back to all four again. And we're going to do the same shrug in this direction. Now I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades and then bring them apart. Very small and subtle. Five, open, four, squeeze down, and open, three, open your chest more, and back, four, I mean two, <laughs> and last one. Now that we have done shrug this way and the other way, next is we're gonna grab our towel. Put it like this, right? And then bring it up. Grip your towel and try to slightly pull it apart, just slightly. And then now I'm gonna raise my shoulders up and down. five times. Slow and gentle. And just feel your strength. Last two. And last one. And all the way down. It's really tiring. I'm gonna put my towel on the side. Bring this block. Amazing. Again on my all four, and this time with the block on my right arm, I'm gonna reach this block out. You can use the same towel if you don't have a block or a heavy weight, heavier weight. And now I'm just gonna lift this arm up without moving any of my body. So again, lift, try to really control everything. And when you put it down, don't touch the ground and lift up again, two. And up again, three, four, five. I want you to hold here for five, four, three, two, one and slowly come down. If you're doing it right, you should feel it here, here. And we're gonna do it now on the left hand. 
Again, reach the left hand out, arch your body, and one, two, three, four, five. Hold four, three, two, one, and slowly release. Whew. Hope you like that one too. Now we just have a few left. And we're gonna start with a simple plank, a low plank. Just come down to this position, tense your abs, and then now we're gonna rock back and forth. Try to bring the chin forward and all the way back. Forward and back. Five more times. Four more. Three. Two. I can feel my abs. One. And now from here, I'm gonna drop my knees, go to my arms, and I'm gonna go to a down dog position. And swim back to a plank. And again. really help building those shoulder stability and the back muscles it will all come together for three two and last one I want you to hold in this high plank position and try to lift one arm forward and the up arm. Oh. All right. The third time, left and right. If this is too challenging, you can also go on the knees to go lift left and right. For the last one, I'm gonna go back to my plank and lift. <sighs> Let's roll our shoulders back a little bit. Because for the last exercise of today, it's going to be three hard push up and three lighter push-up, and three even lighter push-up. Maybe you already want to start your hard push-up on your knee, but I'm gonna start with the full push-up, just three times. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna do my three easy one. My last three is gonna be the easiest on my all four. Just squeezing the armpit to slowly go down. One, two, three. Great job. That was the 15 minutes back workout today. And now we're gonna finish up with some stretching. I'm just on my knees. I'm gonna reach my left hand all the way to the other side. Taking a few big breaths. And 
my right to the left side. Really pack yourself in the back. Completing this 15 minutes back routine with me. It's definitely ready for all the aerial workout I have planned for today. Bring my hands forward, also go to a child pose. Try to shake out any tension you might have from your neck and shoulders. And then come all the way up. Thank you for working out with me today. And there's gonna be more 15 minutes routine, also on arm, shoulders, abs, everything. I'll just see you in the next one.